On the Bright Side is brought to you by the Ministry of Education, Culture, Science and Technology, and UNICEF. They call it the Makerspace, a place where ideas transform into reality. In this room, first form students engage in activities ranging from coding for robotics and woodworking to 3D printing. Lionel Palacio, the key learning area teacher at ITSAT Academy, oversees this innovative space with an additional particular focus on digital art. So the class currently right now is called Maker. And Maker allows the students to tinker with um, the different type of tools and skills and produce tangible stuff. Students are busy creating a logo for a business. Palacio explains that the curriculum provides an integrated learning experience where each subject seamlessly connects with others. Most of our subjects or courses are connected. So students work on their digital art logo. So this cycle is called Promote It. And they would create a logo in digital art, which is a separate subject. But that very logo, they had to do research on their favorite logo. Once they have learned that, they started to tinker and design their own logo according to their passion. So the objective was, what is your passion? Okay, maybe your one is food. So what type of food? And so you think about maybe you could create a business. Now you need to create a face for that business, which is a logo. 13-year-old Jayden Nemhard proudly shows us her project, a logo for her business, Learn Together. Her idea aims to engage students interested in the same projects she is studying. Well, my idea was that I wanted to have a company that could help students coming into high schools like ours that is um, basically technology-based to learn more about technology. So I think in my company, I would teach about the basics of technology, like for students who came from primary schools that you don't use computers, that they could learn before they come to high school, maybe like a summer program or something like that. So what they're doing now, they're solving out on their own, which of these machines will best um, illustrate their logo. Mm -hmm. And today is gonna be like a test run. So if you're gonna run it on the vinyl, it might not come out so good. And so you go back and iterate. Maybe there's something that is cloggy. Maybe you need to reduce some um, tone or color or something. And so you would have done that. So they're basically going to test it on whatever machine they want. ITSAT Academy exemplifies what competency-based learning can achieve when students are given the opportunity to be critical thinkers and problem solvers. The reason I'm here is because education is different. It is the future. It is having students have access to a state-of-the-art machine, having access to new information, having access to how to become entrepreneurs autonomous thinkers and the typical high school can only do that to a limit. An example of this is that we, one of the core thing is teaching them how to research. Mm -hmm. Allowing them um, to gather these tools and, and skills on how to do research is a gateway for them to further their education and also become lifelong learners. Mm -hmm. And so if we're looking at competency base, it is more of what the student can do with knowledge and skill and present it in a way that is original, authentic. It's not like a guided activity where everybody's producing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it aligns in terms of having our students being competent in what they're doing. Competency-based learning is also evident in their creative and innovative approach to education. In this class, students engage in collaborative projects and demonstrate digital literacy. What we do here is the students are allowed their phone, of course, with a license. The license allows them to know how to use their phone. They agree to use the phone. So we teach them how to use their devices properly for productivity. And we introduce softwares to them. Instead of using paper, they use their Chromebooks to document their work, to save their work. So because we're getting to a digitized world, allowing the students to be comfortable with that aspect, makes it very easy for them to put things in and bring things out. Christine Koch, the vice principal of the institution, oversees a cohort of 64 students. The Ministry of Education's four-point scale guides their progress. We use the 
um, the four point scale that the ministry has, you have emerging, um, developing, achieving, and mastery. And so what we does is we say, okay, so when you start off and you have never used a laser cutter before, you might be at emerging, so you'll know some of the information, but as we start to teach you and you start to practice, then you start moving up the levels that eventually you don't need a teacher's help, you have now mastered how to use the machines. And so for, for us, that's, that's what competency is all about. Are you able to do the work? Elroy Tucker Jr. eagerly shares his prototype and concept with us. Displayed on the screen, he describes a coded animation that, once refined, could support his business idea for an animated game centered around a character with a personality disorder. My logo is mainly representing the people who have a special disorder called disasso the Disassociative Personality Disorder. Um, my initial idea was to make a video game about it where um, you would interact with the world with different personalities inside of one singular host. And it was a really interesting concept to think about and I hope that I can use the same logo when I make the game in the future. Interacting with students at the STEAM Academy reveals a bright future for Belize when forward-thinking education is embraced. Cox's goal is to equip students with skill sets that make them highly desirable to employers or capable of creating their own businesses. So for me, when I see them, my vision of them walking down that stage is for them to be proud and say, yeah, I got my diploma today and tomorrow I already have a job. Or I don't have a job with somebody, but I can make my own business because I can design stickers, I can design logos, you give me a sketch, I can draw it for you. And so for me, it's, I, that is the vision that I have for an INSA student. Looking on the Bright Side, I'm Sabrina Daly. On the Bright Side was brought to you by the Ministry of Education, Culture, Science and Technology, and UNICEF.